you don't answer your phone anymore. I'm world famous now. The press won't leave me alone. It's Cuddy. I know. If it was the press, I'd be answering. And since you're not taking her calls, I am. Your patient's been waiting for hours. She didn't book an appointment. No, she risked her life. You don't reach terra firma. You don't get any milk or honey. The woman has 10 different things wrong with her, including pains all over her body. Admittedly, not as interesting as staring uselessly at Foreman. No, I find the goodbye party fascinating. Isn't it kind of insulting to celebrate when someone leaves you? What are you going to do to keep him? Nothing. He really is going to leave. You know that, right? Yeah. So what are you going to do? Nothing I can do. He doesn't want more money, better working conditions. Doesn't even want a better job. He wants to not be me. Because he thinks you're a cold-hearted bastard without any regard for anyone but yourself. He's right. You need to show him that you really do care. Don't. Foreman's not the only chocolate-covered cherry in the box. House, you play a guitar you got in ninth grade. Eight. You're living in the same apartment for 15 years. You drive a 10-year-old car. You are not good with change. That used to be true, but I changed. He's not afraid to be you. He's afraid to be who he thinks you are. Dramatic fever would explain the skin rash. Not the double vision or bloody urine. Well, what's the same? Three days. severe dehydration causes kidney problems. And the double vision? <laughs> Concussion during the shipwreck. It all fits as long as these symptoms started when you think it started. This would be a lot easier if we had our medical records. Any of you certified deep sea divers? She's from a dirt poor country in the tropics. Infectious disease and parasites are the most likely cause of unexplained pain, fever, and skin rash. We might as well start there. There's one thing Castro knows. It's how to look great in green. And if there are two things Castro knows, it's how to look great in green and train doctors. Even without the medical records, we can assume she was drowned in antibiotics before she risked drowning to see me. So what doesn't Castro know? How to lay his hands on high-tech scanning equipment. Pain, double vision, point us towards the head. Cameron, get an MRI, see what's cooking in the old cabeza. Chase, check out the husband. Why, he hasn't complained of any pain? Basic math. Take all her symptoms, subtract his C symptoms, the remainder equals her original symptoms. Any other metal? Must have been difficult on the boat. When the storm came, Jess, very much. I pray while my husband, he, um, como se dice, uh, with the paddles. You're on a boat without a motor? No, no. We start with the motor, but it break on the first night. My husband, he can fix anything. A watching machine, a car, a computer. But that is stupid motor. And me, these two he cannot fix. He got you to us. He never gave up. No matter what happened, he kept saying to me, don't worry, we will make it. I'll take care of you. That's Esteban. He refuses to worry or pray. He believes if you don't have one, you don't need the other. The husband has a pulled muscle in his shoulder, but no other pains or double vision. He does have a fever, fungal rash, cough, and elevated Billy Rubin. The foreman's not going anywhere. He said that to you? He doesn't really want to leave, and you don't really want to let him. You'll cave, just like you did with Cameron. Foreman's not as easy as Cameron, but of course, who is? I'm in the room. He may not want to date, but he does want something. Well, maybe it's something I can't offer. Then you'll just lie. He'd see through it, maybe. Or well, maybe he'll just see what he wants to see. She has MS. Explains the pain, fatigue, double vision, 
Kidney problems. Her kidney problems aren't connected. Her husband has the same issues. It is possible for two people to have the same symptom for two different reasons. If we're going to take that approach, then we might as well just throw out everything we got from the husband and start over. We could do that. Or we could do something productive. Start on interferon for the MS, see if she improves. I do like being productive. Well done. Do it. Well done? Is that what you think he wants? A pat on the head? Go do your job. She does not have MS. I know it's not a pleasant diagnosis to hear, but... No, the doctors in Cuba would have found MS. What's that? It's all right. Her pulse ox just came off. Marina, you can't. But it hurts. The pain is getting worse. Your treatment isn't working because it's not MS. Does this hurt? Ah! Wow. Well, either Foreman's way stronger than he thinks he is, or. Seriously, or. She's too young for osteoporosis that severe. And too old for osteogenesis imperfecta, which leaves bone cancer. Cancer's a long shot. Why? Because metastatic tumors don't explain the abnormal MRI, kidney damage, cotton mouth, double vision. Oh, wait, they do. Infection could do all that, too. It's not an infection. Because, you know, the non-existent medical records confirm that the brilliant doctors in Cuba treated her for infection. Or because you're trying to kiss up the foreman. Because an infection would cause a fever. And the brilliant doctors who work in my office have already crossed that off the list because the husband... You're the one who said it's possible for two people to have the same symptom for two different reasons. And you're the one who said if we do that, we might as well throw out everything we got from the husband. Right. And then you said we should do something productive like breaking her arm? Foreman didn't break her arm. Of course he didn't. Cancer did. Put her in a PET scan. See what else it's breaking. This isn't gonna work. He's not a moron. You can't just agree with everything he says for two days and hope he forgets the last three years and how much he hates you. Anything else? When you get the results of the PET scan, let me know. I don't really care if Foreman stays or goes, but... You're fired. <laughs> what, because I, I yelled at you? Because you've been here the longest, learned all you can, or you haven't learned anything at all. Either way, it's time for a change. Fine. 